Okay, the last function we're looking at is the sine function. The domain of the sine function is x belongs to from negative infinity up to positive infinity. So again, we're looking at the sine function. And what, what we see here is the domain from left to right is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is the same as the cosine function. It goes from negative 1 to positive 1. It is increasing at a certain level and decreasing at a certain level. So let's look at the equation just like we had in the cosine function. Okay, so it's increasing from negative 90, which we look really closely here, negative 90, up to positive 90. So, and this repeats every 360 degrees n. And again, it ends at 90 degrees and add 360 n. Don't forget that n belongs to the world of integers. All right, it decreases. It decreases in a certain interval. Let's look at the interval for that. It decreases from 90 on the domain from 90 degrees all the way up to 270 before it starts to increase again. And again, this repeats itself every 360 degrees n. All right, so that is the decreasing intervals. All right, next, there are no points of discontinuity, x-intercepts, it repeats itself, it repeats itself every uh, 180 degrees, 180 degrees n. That is what it will be. First one we start off is zero, the next one's at 180, Next one's at 360, and if we go backwards, it's at negative 180 and negative 360. Again, this is a sequence going in a pattern where n belongs to integers. Y-intercept is at 0, 0. Symmetry, a sine function, when you reflect it horizontally, does not equal the original sine function. But when you take that horizontal reflection and reflect it vertically, you'll find out quickly that a uh, sine function is actually odd. So the cosine function is even, but the sine function is odd. And finally, n behaviors very similar to the cosine. As x approaches, whether it moves to positive or negative infinity, the y value approaches positive or negative 1. All right, now we've done all the functions that we've learned in grade 11. Now it's time for you to apply the homework and be able to answer all the questions. All right, folks, take care until the next video. Goodbye.